Welcome, my dear students and others, to this chapter 8 video in which I'm going to work an example problem on bond enthalpy. Specifically, I want you to use table 8.4, which I will show you in a moment, to estimate the reaction enthalpy for each of the following gas phase reactions. Now, in this video, I'm not going to do all of them for you. Instead, I'm just going to do reaction A. I'll let you tackle the others on your own, and for students who are taking this university class from me, we'll go over the others if you need some help in class. So how do we use the bond enthalpy approach to figure out the reaction enthalpy for this overall reaction? To begin, we have to draw out the Lewis structures for each of the molecules shown here, which I taught you in another video floating over my head or linked to in the description below. The Lewis structure for this molecule right here, formaldehyde, happens to be this. For this molecule, HCl, is this one right here. And the Lewis structure for this product over here is the one shown right here. So what I'm going to do is just look at how many total bonds of all different varieties there are on the left side of this reaction. That is going to be my bonds broken. That is the reactants, bonds will break and then reform in a completely different way as these reactants move towards products. So what kinds of bonds do I see here? Well, you can see that I've got two carbon hydrogen single bonds right here. I also have one carbon oxygen double bond right here and I have one hydrogen chlorine single bond right there. And what are the overall enthalpy values for these? Well, yeah, you can see that a hydrogen carbon single bond is worth 413 kJs per mole. So as I do my addition here, I'm going to multiply that by two because I've got two carbon hydrogen single bonds. A carbon oxygen double bond is worth 799 kJs per mole and a hydrogen chlorine single bond is worth 431 kJs per mole. If I add all of this stuff together, I end up getting a total bond value of 2056 kilojoules for all the reactant bond enthalpies. Now we'll do the same thing for the bonds formed, that is our products. As we look over here, you can see that there are one, two, three carbon hydrogen single bonds. There is one carbon oxygen single bond and there is one oxygen chlorine single bond. Where does the math take us on this one? Well, again, as you see on this table, each carbon hydrogen single bond is worth 413 kilojoules per mole because this product has three of those bonds. Mathematically, I have to take that number and multiply it by three. Separately on this table, you can see that each carbon oxygen single bond is worth 358 kilojoules per mole. So I'll add it here to my growing pile of numbers. And each oxygen chlorine single bond is worth 203 kilojoules per mole. If I add all of this stuff together, I get to a final total of 1800 kilojoules per mole of this product form. To review then, the total value for all the enthalpies of my reactants was 2056 kJs and for my products was 1800 kJs. To get to the final answer then, I take my reactants, that is my bonds broken, and subtract from that my products, that is my bonds formed. So the final answer ends up being 2056 minus 1800, giving us positive 256 kilojoules per mole.